Hi, it's Rebecca. Oh my Lord, Sunday morning, I look gorgeous. I'm doing a how-to diamond paint video. So come with me on this journey and let's learn how to diamond paint. channel. I'm Rebecca and this is Diamond Painting Beginner's Journey. So as a beginner, um, if you found this because you would like to know how to diamond paint, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you want to know when I have another video posted. Um, now we got that out of the way. What I'm going to do in this video is talk you through, you know, many of you have seen the unboxings but then you're like, well, you know, that doesn't really tell me how to diamond paint. So this is going to get you, you've already, you're already at this point. We've got the canvas unboxed or unbagged. We've got our diamonds and we've got our toolkit. So now what are we going to do? And that's what we're going to talk about today. If you are not new to diamond painting and you are, you are watching this video, please put comments down um, if you think there's something that will help a beginner who's learning to diamond paint. The first thing, these are also referred to as drills. Um, so just so there's no confusion there, these are the diamonds, but you will hear them referred to as drills, sparklers, but a lot of the YouTubers will call them drills. Then you have, this is just your basic toolkit. Now, you don't need anything fancy to diamond paint. You can be you can be perfectly fine with what you've got in your package. Um, after I would recommend after doing your first canvas or maybe part of the way through, and if you've decided, wow, this is something I really love, and you think you're hooked, that's when I would start exploring other storage options, other um, pens, better pens, maybe some multi placers. Um, better boats. Let me let's let's talk about the toolkit here. So the toolkit comes the basic toolkit. It will come with a pen, and sometimes it will have a multi placer on the end. Um, a lot of times, no. You've got your boat, and you get a piece of wax, and you get some baggies. Now, sometimes your drills or your diamonds will come. Let's, let's open this up and take a look here. Now, these have come in separate packages. Now, you cannot, it's very difficult. It would be, it would be very difficult to diamond paint with your diamonds in these packages. So generally what I would recommend at the beginning is let's sort this out. First, we're going to make sure that we've got all of our drills. We're gonna look at our legend and we're gonna compare the diamonds to the legend and just make sure that we have everything that we need. Now, I'm gonna pause while I do that. Okay, I've got all of my diamonds sorted out. I'm gonna put this camera back on the table. There we go. So I've got them all sorted out. So I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. We've got a straggler here. Twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. Now we just want to check. Um you're going to have a legend here. On this legend, and this may vary by company, not all companies have the same thing on their legend, but if you have a, a decent company, they're going to put on the legend a number that you can put on your storage kit. So, And it also tells you how many diamonds are in your kit. So this is numbered A1 through A36. That's the first column. So we know we have 36 different color drills. So we're okay, we've got all the drills. So the second column is your symbols. And that's what you're gonna find on what's known as the drill 
field, and we'll, I, I will show you the drill field, that will have your symbols. And then the third column, if you're lucky, <laughs> and it's a good kit, they're going to have a third column, and there's going to be a DMC number. Um, let me pause for one second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I have a little frog in my throat this morning. So uh, DMC, that is sort of a universal language for colors. You will find a DM, this, and it's meant to be that there are the same colors carry through through each uh, diamond painting that you're going to see. So a DMC number of 740, which this is orange. If you were to go to another diamond painting that has the same DMC number 740, you should see roughly the same color. And this carries through through yarns and threads. So um, you can get a DMC ch color chart and it should match up to the numbers that you're seeing here. So that's pretty much what a DMC number means. So you're, you're lucky if you get a DMC number on these. Uh, when you're done with your kit, you can actually store these the leftover diamonds by DMC numbers. And then perhaps in the future, if you run out of diamonds, you could go back and see if you have the, the DMC number that you ran out of. Say I ran out of 741. I could go through my stash and I might have some leftover 741s. Um, and they'll be the same color or roughly the same color. And I say roughly because it might be a different dye lot. So it may be off a bit, but it's going to be roughly the same color. And you'll be able to use those in your diamond painting. So it is nice when you get the DMC number. So when they put these in the bags, they're put in here usually by weight. Um, to, and they usually try to give you 30% more than what you need. So hopefully it's rare that you do run out of diamonds. So if you've, you've got the DMC number here, these particular drills here have the DMC numbers on the packages. Sometimes you'll get packages that you do not know what the DMC number is, and it'll just have a number, like maybe 1 through 20 on the bag. And then you'll just have to go over to your legend and match it up. Let's say number 11, and this will be number 11, and that's how you know which drill to use. I Personally, I like when they come with the DMC numbers. So this one has the DMC numbers. We're going to put our pen off to the side here. So the next thing you're going to do, because this is not an ideal situation, you don't want to have to go to your drill field, pick out the drills that you need and have them be in these packages. So that's where storage containers come in. And there are, um, excuse me, there are roughly, <laughs> there are, you know, tons of different storage containers is, you know, try some out, see what you like. Uh, I have, I will do another video on the variety of storage containers that you use. But if your kit comes with these baggies, that's what this is for. You can open these baggies, and these are really probably the cheapest baggies that any diamond painting will ever come with, but you can make it work. You will, I can't even get these open. Here's one that's open. All right, so you get these little baggies and you can transfer your diamonds into here. Now, this has no way of identifying it, so you're gonna want to get some label, some form of label. So you can get these um, Avery labels at any store, pretty much, and you can just write, you know, you find your DMC number, 741 is what the DMC number is on this package, and let me put that up close so that you can see. See, it says 741. So I'll come over here and I'll look for 741. Where is 741? Okay, 741 is number three. So on this little thing here, I'm just going to write number three. And then I'm going to put it on the bag that it came with. You know, I'm going to write number three. And then I'm going to stick it on this bag. And then I will pour those diamonds into here. And then this will be much more manageable to start our diamond painting. Now, 
I tell you this because I, I don't think you should spend a lot of money when you're first starting out. So do it this way. Try it. It's, if it's something that you love, you can put it into a storage container. Today, I'm going to put these into a storage container just because I have the storage container. But I, I do want to emphasize that you don't need to go buy one um, until you decide this is something I really love and I want to do this. So I'm going to get a storage container. So I'm going to pause and get a storage container. Okay, I'm back. This is a, the storage container I'm going to use for this project. This has 30 colors, uh, 36 colors. This only has uh, 30 containers, but we're going to make it work. It also has a little uh, place where you can store extra diamonds or drills. Uh, this is just one of many fancy little containers that you can get. But today we're going to make this work with this storage container. So I'm going to get you started. We're going to put this container right here. We're going to number our container lids. Now, when you get uh, some of these kits will come with inventory sheets and later on down the line, you can order a, a what's called a Xyron sticker maker and you can put that um, the, the inventory sheet will actually, you'll be able to cut that out. You could also take a picture of this, uh, take it through a color printer and then make a sticker out of it. And then you can actually cut these out and put them on your lids or on the containers that you choose to use for your diamond painting. But today we're just going to go real simple because we're not spending a lot of money on this diamond painting until we know we like it. So we're just going to write 1 through 36 on here. And I'll be right back while I do that. Okay, I'm back. I have numbered the kit. I, and that is 1 through 30. Now we have 36 colors. So what I did was I went to my stash and I borrowed some other containers that will fit up into here. Yeah, it's not going to want to close real well, but it's okay. So, and I've numbered those with the other six. So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take number one and we're going to find number one on the legend. Um, this one has one, it's really nice. This is a nice canvas. So it has a legend on either side, or you may have your inventory sheet that you can look and find number one. So number one is 38.55. So I'm going to find 38.55, which is, I have these in some kind of order. I think that's this one here. These Sometimes these are hard to read. Yeah. 38.55. There you go. So, and that corresponds to number one and the symbol P. So we're gonna get our scissors. Cut that off. Some people really enjoy this process. It's, it's also known as kitting up. So we're gonna put our diamonds into there. So now we've got number one. And then you go on and do number two. Number two is 38.54. And that is this color here. And this has two packages and those should fit nicely into this container. If down the line, perhaps, um, here's our 310. If you don't feel like they will fit into one container, you can put them in multiple containers. Or what I will probably do is put a small amount into the container and just leave the other package closed and stick it nearby for when I need it. So let's do number two. I happen to enjoy this process, the kitting up process. It gets me a little bit excited to do whatever particular canvas I'm going to be working on. I like to see the colors. And the whole idea behind diamond painting is, for me, is relaxation. It really it gets my mind wandering. 
sometimes I'll listen to books while I'm doing it, or maybe podcasts or other YouTubers. Uh, I enjoy listening to lives from other YouTubers. Now, number three is 741, which is right here. That's uh, the orange. We've seen 741 before. So you just keep doing this until you got it all done. Now, like I said, I use this fancy container, but you can you can um, put your sticker on these bags. And now I've got a hitchhiker on my thumb here. So put your sticker on the bags, and then you pour your diamonds into the bag, and then seal it, um, and maybe get a larger baggie to keep all these in um, one place. So I'm going to continue with this process and I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Hi, J this is, um, let's see, Jake is down here too. Say hi, Tootsie. You'll see the dogs in my videos. They're my babies. She is half Rottweiler, half Bull Mastiff, and not quite two years old. The old dog, the little dog, the alpha dog, he's down here. So I digress. So I've got everything kitted up. So there's one through 30 there. Um, and because this was 36 colors, I found some other containers, put the last six in. Then, like I said, uh, not there were a couple of containers, like 310, where it wasn't, the, all the drills were not gonna fit into that container. So I put some into the container and then I left some of the bags um, until I need them. So we're just gonna tuck those back in the back. We'll put these here for now. And now where do we go? And if you need to pause to finish your kitting up, um, go right ahead and then come back when you're ready to start. When we're ready to start, now what you see on the canvas here is an opaque cover. Your canvas may come with a clear cover or your canvas may come with this opaque cover, it may be in one large piece, it may be in two large pieces. Uh, this particular diamond painting and a lot of the Diamond Art Club uh, comes with a clear cover. I like to take those off. Some people will leave them on and they will use a washi tape method to do their diamond painting. Um, if you go to uh, Cindy's Crafters, I will link it down in the description. I apologize for not knowing her YouTube channel name, but she has a video on the washi tape method. I will link it down in the description so you can go see how she uh, cordons off her canvas to complete it. I like to do it this way. I have a roll of this um, stuff and I will, I will do a video on how I prepare the canvas this way. But Whatever way you have, you just, what you do is you just peel back the part, you know, say it's just one plastic cover and you don't want to put any money into this right now. Just peel back the plastic cover, you know, crease it and then get started. So if, if it's a very small diamond painting, you can just take the cover off and then put it back on when you're done. You can go get parchment paper out of your kitchen and you can use that to cover it. I wouldn't use anything else. Don't use wax paper, um, any other kind of uh, foil or anything like that you would have around your kitchen. But parchment paper works just fine. I have some parchment paper. Be right back. Let me show you the parchment paper. I actually have this uh, pre-cut parchment paper. You can take a, the parchment paper, you can um, put that on your canvas, you can divide, you know, cut it up, however you want to do it. And that will sit quite nicely on your drill field um, and not ruin it. So you want to peel up a small portion. I like to do small portions. I just want to concentrate on this section right here. Now, some people ask, do you do all one color at once? If it's a smaller diamond painting, yes, I will do all one color at once. 
but um, this is not a particularly large painting. It's just a habit I've gotten into. I start on the right because I'm right-handed and I want to go this way. So my hand is not sticking on, you know, if I go this way, um, I suppose that would be okay, um, but my hand would always be sticking on the, the drill field as I'm working. So I start this way. Some people like to start at the top. It doesn't really matter, whatever you prefer. If you want to start in the middle, go for it. Uh, I wouldn't. <laughs> Some people like to start in the top and go across. If you're left-handed, you want to start and go across. I always, for some reason, I start at the bottom. So here's your drill field, and that's what they call it, drill field. You will see the symbols, and I hope this camera is going to focus. We'll give it a hot minute. Okay, so you see the symbols on there. So we're going to look at those symbols, and we're going to look at the legend. Now we've got our our drills here. We've got our pen that came in our package. We've got our little piece of wax. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put some wax onto the pen. Now this wax, it comes with a little piece of plastic on either side. So you just peel off that, peel back that plastic and you take your pen and you just kind of dip it in there, swirl it around. You want to make sure that you've got some some wax on the end of that pen. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, there'll be some wax inside of the pen. So I'm gonna look at the drill field and see what symbols I want. So there's a little, wow, these symbols are, I wear bifocals, so. All right, so there is some 666 in here and I don't, you know, I've got my little section here. You don't have to do it row by row. You can like do all the colors in this section. So I see that 666 is here. So let's find it on the canvas. So 666 is number six. So I'm gonna pull number six out. And I've got my little green boat, the green boat that came in your drill kit. So I'm gonna pour some in here. We're just gonna pour a few in there. If you want to pour them all in there, you can pour them all in there. Then you're just going to shake your tray a little bit. And the reason I do that, I shake it a couple different ways, is you want to spread the diamonds out, maybe get them to line up a little. Let's see if we can get them to line up. They're not going to want to line up, but that's okay. So we spread them out a little. Now we've got our diamonds. We're going to set it next to our field here. I would suggest that if you're sitting at a... So I don't diamond paint this way. If I were to diamond paint with uh, the, like at a dining room table where my chair is sitting a little bit higher, my back would start hurting. So what I have found is um, just experiment. If you sit in a recliner um, and have maybe a laptop desk, you can try it there or maybe in your bed with a laptop desk. Try some different angles because you don't want to do it for what, when I first started, I sat there for maybe the first few times. I was so fascinated. I probably sat in that dining room chair for hours, literally hours. I looked up and like three or four hours had gone by. That's when I knew I was hooked. <laughs> um, and my back was killing me, just killing me. So you just find that you get the diamond on your pin. See, we've got the diamond on our pin. We picked we picked it up with the pen, and these pens work fine. They do perfectly fine. And you just place it where you see the sixes on the canvas, because that's the symbol. The symbol is a little six. So that's what I'm going to do, is put them down on the sixes. And you'll hear that nice little pop. It's, it's a little, that's a little satisfying when you hear that. That's, that's the diamond sticking to the drill field. And you just continue on until you finish this color on this section. And now you are diamond painting. Now, I messed up. <laughs> so I use 
tweezers. Some toolkits will come with tweezers. So and I messed up because I don't, I'm not seeing it too well. And what most diamond painters do at this point is they invest in a light pad. I would suggest to start off maybe an A4 light pad. And you put that underneath here and it's gonna shine some light. It's gonna make these drill, this drill field easier to see. But get through your first diamond painting and then decide whether you wanna invest in a light pad. So we're just doing the sixes here. And then, uh, you know, you can also decide at some point if you want to invest in a nice pen. There's lots of companies out there that make pens. So I'm going to go through and I will do all the sixes. And then I will pour whatever's left of these diamonds back into the container. And I will go on to my next color. And now you are diamond painting. When you complete a project, um, then it's up to you how you want to frame it. You can you have the option of sealing the diamond painting, which I will do in another video. You do not have to seal every diamond painting. It just depends on the quality of the canvas that you're doing. Um, but I hope you found this video helpful. If you have questions, please put those in the comments section. And I will answer them to the best of my ability. If you are not new to diamond painting and you've sat and enjoyed this video, please, uh, if you have comments to help new diamond painters, put those in the comment section. Um, I won't be offended because this is a beginner's journey. And I wanna thank you guys for coming along. I will see you in my next video. So you guys take care and have a great rest of the day.